Hey guys, this is Janera coming to you with today's workout. This is the Core Trainer Blast Workout. If you want rock hard abs, this is the piece of equipment for you. This thing is amazing. So today what we're gonna do is eight exercises on this piece of equipment, only 45 seconds each, that's all. Okay, however, if you're just starting out or you have back issues or any other things that might hold you back from doing these core exercises, just start with a few reps, see how you feel, and then build from there. All right, there is a level one, a level two, a level three. I encourage everybody to start at level one, and if you feel good, you can go right into level two or three. Also, keep a journal of your progress here and see how things progress, how you really build up strength in your core over time. So hopefully you guys have read through the blog at this point. You know what to expect. You got your water, your towel. Also, some of the exercises uh, are gonna be done on our knees. So I've got a little pad here. So um, if you tend to have sore knees, you might wanna grab a towel, bundle it up, or something to just put underneath. A pillow will even work great. So you ready to go? Here it is. Our first exercise is an incline crunch. So you can see the machine is on an incline. We're just gonna have a seat right here. Okay, pulling your abs in tight, belly button to your spine, and this is just a small crunch. It's not a full sit up, because you want to keep that rectus abdominis engaged the whole way. Make sure you breathe, and don't pull on your neck. Okay, the level two for this is legs up and tabletop. And trust me, this is challenging, because you got to hold your balance. All right, level three, legs extended straight up. Oh, and that range of motion should get a lot smaller when you go into this one. Whew. See, 45 seconds of that could be very, very challenging. All right, our next exercise is plank. Our level one, and this is where the pad comes in handy. It's going to be done on your knees, okay? And you can either do this on your elbows or on your hands, whatever feels most com comfortable for you. But navel pressed up toward your spine, don't let your back sway, and don't leave your booty up in the air. No TPs. All right, so right here, level two. Up on your toes, level three, with the board, oh, open. Okay, that does get more challenging. Make sure that you breathe too, no holding your breath at all. All right, exercise number three is the ab roller. So while we're down here already, again, on your knees if you want, push that board forward, and your abs should follow you down. All right, level number two, this is tricky again. Up on your toes, abs in tight, and just use a, sh a short range of motion here first. Build your way up, and if you really want the challenge, level three, one leg up. And go ahead and glide that forward. Whew. All right. Next up, we've got the scrunch. Level one is knees on the pad, elbows up on the elbow pad. Make sure you're secure here. Start in a plank with your booty down. This movement starts in your lower abdominals. Pull it up with your knees, tuck your belly in tight. And again, when you come down, don't let your back sway. You don't want to let those muscles go. You want to keep them in tight. Level two, oh, gonna be on your toes. Knees are hovering here, tuck it in. Oh, get a little bit of hip flexor work here too with your lower abdominals. Okay, and level three here, single leg. Put it in. Single leg on your toes or on your knees. Either one is fine. Depends on how hard you want to work. All right. Our next exercise is a torso twist. Okay. So we're going to be down here on our knees on the pad. Very simple here. Stay in plank. Turn and reach through. You just alternate sides all the way up. You should feel this in your obliques. Level two on the toes, all the way up, and up. Think about that top hip staying up toward the ceiling so you don't sway down towards the ground. Keep it up high. Your oblique muscles are working to keep you up there. And if you want more challenge, woo, take that leg up, switch it over, take that leg up. That one is hard. If you have shoulder issues, be really careful with the advanced moves on that one. So a lot of work on the shoulders and a lot of stability. So build that to it. All right, next up we've got an inverted plank. So knees on the board here. We're going to turn ourselves around. 
Get down onto your elbows. Again, you can do these on your toes if you want to. All right, and just stay right there. Okay, hands in tight. It's easier to let your back sway here. So tuck it in. All right, you want more challenge? Come up onto your toes. Right there, you can go more open or closed. And you can do a single leg. So, the isometric exercises like planks, make sure you're not holding your breath. When we tend to bear down and hold things in, we don't want to breathe. You got to breathe. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Super important to get oxygen to your muscles. All right, next up, we've got bridges. I'm going to move my pad out of the way. Lie back on the floor. Feet on the floor. Turn your blast board here. All right, I just bridge my hips up. So now we've got erector spinae, or low back work, as well as glutes. Largest muscle in the body, also supports the core. You want more challenge here? You're gonna go board open, do the same thing. Bridge your hips up and down. And last level, three, push and pull while you've got your hips up. So we're sneaking in a little hamstring work, but the straighter you get your legs, the more you're going to feel that across the small of your back. If you've got back issues, be careful. Keep it basic. All right. And the last exercise that we have, leg lowers. Okay. You can go ahead and lie back on your board here. And you want to support yourself right here. So grab onto the rails. Bring your legs up and extend. One leg at a time. Lower it down. Whew. And the le next level up oh, is a double leg lower. Oh, and back up. That one's really, really tricky. Be super careful of your abdominal muscles there, okay? Last one, add in a reverse crunch. All right, those are your eight exercises. 45 seconds of each. It may not sound like a long time, but believe me, this is gonna get you right where you want it, right where it hurts in the core. So keep it up, get that trunk nice and strong, and here's to your health.